Okay, um, I tried my absolute best to um, get this vehicle fully detailed while the sun was still out. I actually took off work early. I've been out here since four o'clock. It's eight o'clock now. I did a full wash, compound wax and buff. Um, I cleaned the inside. I haven't had a chance to uh, armor all everything down, but as you can see, we're all clean. I ended up putting vinyl seat covers just to match the back. This seat right here is nothing wrong with it. That one has a small rip over there as you know, wear and tear as all driver sides do. It also has an extremely small rip in the door panel. One thing I wanted to highlight is the is the civilian um, center console. I ended up purchasing this console from LKQ online. This is the police console components that were in the car. Um, all of this comes with the sale. If you want to put it back in, that's fine. But um, when I got the car, it was just a base. It was actually no police console in the car. So that's why I purchased the aftermarket. This is the rear cargo area. Um, I haven't had a chance to armor all it down yet or use pledge, but um, the car does not have a spare. The car you can use, uh, if you decide to keep the aftermarket wheels, you can use one of the stock wheels as a spare. And if not, you can get rid of the aftermarket wheels and just get a regular spare. But all of the um, jack components, everything are here. Uh, like I said, with this being the police model, there were a couple connections that this car didn't have. So these rear components don't work. The only components that work inside the actual center console is the um, auxiliary jack right there and also the 12-volt <coughs> um, plug. But all of the front components and the dials, all of that stuff works. So this center console was just for um, cosmetic purposes and for me to just have an armrest. Someone asked me to take a measurement from the front console to the rear deck. It appears that I have 113 inches. That's about um, nine foot five. I believe you said from the back, from the back of the seat looks like about 79 inches. That's about six foot seven. Um, so a little less than 10 feet, but I'm pretty sure if you, if you angled it forward, you could get 10 feet. I think that's what um, he was trying to achieve. Here's the engine bay. Uh, I realized I made a mistake in copying the info. This is not an EcoBoost motor. This is actually the 307 horsepower naturally aspirated motor. Um, it doesn't affect the value and throughout my research, I actually find that the naturally aspirated engine is not as troublesome as the EcoBoost. So hopefully that does not sway your decision to consider this vehicle, because it is running and um, not in need of any service at this time, very well maintained. Yes, we still have the police light. I actually changed it to an LED. We also have red. Here's an undercarriage view. Um, no leaks, creaks, squeaks, or tweaks. It's just drying off a little bit because um, I sprayed down the engine up top, but there's no leaks. Everything is good. As far as cosmetic, we have a small chip here. Um, we have a small dent here that could probably be pushed out from the inside. And then we have these three holes on each side. Um, I had a body shop here tell me that they'll 
pull off this bumper, take off the bumper guards, repaint the bumper, fix the three holes, the dent and everything for 250 bucks. You can actually see the buff job I did. <laughs> 